Nah, I just got up. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm off. Peace out, E. Okie dokie. Good luck and see you later. Yay, new places. Hey, it's the bomb. We meet again, Mr. Homeless Guy. Homeless? That's the worst thing I ever heard of, and totally untrue. So, what's up with the trash can? Digging for treasure? Well, uh, I'm just going through a rough patch. By the way, you owe me ten bucks. Nah, you agreed to seven. You're busting my balls here. Better get those balls checked out in this clinic, then. So cold! Like a stake through the heart! Hmm. <laughs> what do they call you, anyway? Gober. Everyone calls me Gober. Alright. I'm Kathy. Pleasure to meet you. So, what's your story, anyway? My story? Yeah. Don't all bums have a story? For your information, this is all just a dry streak in my showbiz career. Is that so? I don't recognize you at all. I used to have more hair. That, I actually believe. Come on, man! Frankie Gold is my stage name. Surely you must have heard of me? Not really, no. Oh, come on! I have starred in dozens of Hollywood movies. The Silence of the Lambert? Jacob's mm. Bladder? Nice. The Usual Surprises? Natural Bolt Killers? Not ringing any bells. Kids these days, no appreciation for quality cinema. Breaks my heart. I need to ask you a few questions. Sounds serious. Ask away. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I most certainly do. What? Tell me. Are you sure you want to know? Not everyone can handle the truth. Oh, just spit it out. Okay, here we go. Ready? Abducted by aliens. Mm. <sighs> I should have known better. Oh, I saw it, man. A big, huge light. I was a bit drunk at the time, but I had my reasons. My wife had just left me, taking the dog, not to mention I was being conscripted for the war. But I'm telling you, those goddamn aliens took him and they experimented on him. And that's why he was so messed up when they put him back. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to stop you there. Open your mind, man! I mean, it could be Do you true. know who Lily Myers was? Yep, my dad was the one who found her floating in the lake. Hey. Really? What can you tell me about her? Ah, geez, not a lot. I mean, teenage girls, man, they're like their own species. Impossible to figure out. Not to mention how that entire family ain't, like, people-friendly. Now that's an understatement. Nearly started brawling with Sue the first time I met her. <laughs> she could sure deal out a mean whoop in that lady. He's probably not gonna know. Do you recognize about that? the nickname Cocky? Why, I used to call myself that back in Nam. Oh, how I missed that marvelous youthful ego of mine. Ah, <sighs> why do I even bother? Do you know who Charles Wade is? Sure, he's been holed up in this clinic for the last couple of weeks. You saw Charles Wade go in there? Well, yeah, I just told you, man. How did he look? Okay, I guess. Still walking, at least. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Nothing but hearsay. People say it was pretty deranged. What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? I'd say they're good people. Isaac the priest is, anyway. His dad, Father Bill, on the other hand, though, he and the people he had around him were into some weird shit. What kind of weird shit? I don't know. Uh, they were like a cult or something, with Billy Praise himself at the top. Really shifty bunch of folks. Isaac turned it all around when his dad kicked the bucket, made it a proper church. Interesting. Do you know anyone else who was involved in the old church? 
Not really. I tried to stay as far away from those people as possible. Ask Isaac about it. He's a friendly guy. All right. I might do that. Okay. That's enough serious questions for now. All righty. Okay. I'm off. Bye. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. A calendar from 1991. Hm, guess they really liked that year. No thanks. Women's magazines make my brain melt. Same. Excuse me, nurse? Hello? Hey! Nurse! Yeah? They don't pay you much, huh? No shit. What do you want? I'm here to see Charles Wade. Never heard of him. Anything else? Bullshit. I know he's here. Listen, it's okay. I'm a friend of the family. No, you're not, and I said he's not here. Don't make me call security. I mean, what a I, bitch. I, I, I am. need to get rid of her somehow. Rows and columns of files. Probably easier to use the computer if I need to do some digging. Smoking allowed. Guess this place is a bit behind on healthcare regulations. Uncomfortable, hard plastic chairs. It's like. I was expecting plastic, but this looks like a real plant. All right, let's get our friend the bum to distract this mean lady. Can I look at any of this? Hey, doofus. Oh, hi! So, tell me about this- What about it? Tell me about- the silence of Lambert. Lawrence Lambert, a real estate agent, suddenly turns mute overnight. For weeks, he tries to communicate with customers using a self-invented sign language, only to realize that true love needs no communication at all. He marries his housekeeper, who only knows two words in English, yes and clean. Oh my gosh. In the end, Lawrence dies of a heart attack in the arms of his lovely wife, Consuelo Lambert Vasquez. Based on a true story, I'm not sure I want to know what Jacob's Bladder is about, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Jacob's Bladder. The tragic story of Jacob Cobb, a schizophrenic man who forms an imaginary romantic relationship with his bladder. During long and joyful monologues on the can, he starts referring to his nether regions by the name of Jenny. Sadly, before Jacob has a chance to elope with his sweetheart, he gets committed to an asylum due to increasingly erratic behavior. After a big fight with his paramour, Jacob refuses to pee for a week, and he dies from a ruptured bladder. Nice. Do Give I need to listen to all of on these? the usual surprises? A lighthearted comedy taking place during the surprise birthday party of 34-year-old Sid McBacon. The story is told from eight different perspectives to keep the audience guessing who the protagonist actually is. That sounds actually interesting. The movie ends with the biggest surprise of them all. Sid suddenly dies of an epileptic seizure. Spoilers. I guess it's more of a dark comedy. Natural bald killers? It's a dystopian vision of the future where people are valued by the quality of their hair. The protagonist, Eddie Zephyr, turns bald in high school. One day, he has simply had enough of all the teasing and the bullying, and he completely snaps and heads out on a scalping spree in search of the perfect head of hair. Eddie makes his way to Mexico for an illegal hair transplant. However, he has an adverse reaction to the anesthesia, and he dies on the operating table. Why do you always die at the end of your movies? Typecasting. Okay, so I listen to oh, all of that and never I mind. can't even... Not the culture type. I understand. <sighs> oh my so, gosh. how good an actor are you? The best! The oh, very best! Okay, we're gonna get him to... You know, that nurse in there, mm -hmm. she said she loved you in all those movies. And that she always wished you'd give her a live performance. I knew it! She always gave me these strange looks. Poor Goober. I thought it was contempt, but her face must just be crapping up from shyness. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's definitely it. She'd love to see you act, I'm sure. I'm gonna have to oblige. Which movie do you think she'd like the best? Oh boy, um, well... Jacob's definitely bladder. Jacob's bladder. I'm feeling the pressure. Jenny, everything is forgiven. You and me were like peas and carrots. I'm just so full of your love that I think I'm about to burst. Jenny, where did you go? Oh, I don't feel so No good. point. I wouldn't even know what thank room to you, go to. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. What was the point of that? That wasn't really an... Electrifying performance. I'll have to intervene somehow. Hey, do- Oh, hi! Hey. Sure! Um, what is... Scalping spree? Natural bald killers would be the obvious choice. Bald move. Maybe he'll try to scalp her. Fernando, you've been such a good friend. I can't thank you enough for making me whole again. Turn this scalp into a breathtaking show. golden carpet such as the world has never seen. Okay, Doctor. Again? I'm counting no down thanks. now. I'm gonna have to think outside the Ten, box. Nine, eight, seven. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. How am I supposed to intervene? Hey, doof. Oh, hi. Hey. Sure. Um. Probably. Oh, I'm. Again. I wish I could speak. I have so many things left to say. My chest, no! It can't be! Hold me! Thank you, thank you! Oh, You've again? got a great no, audience! Thanks. I'm gonna have to think outside the box. Well, I only have one more movie. But I feel like I just didn't do it right. Hey, doofus. Oh, hi. Hey. Sure. Um, which one? How about business? Okay. Well, let's hope it works this time. I can't believe you guys did all this for me. You know, I have. Uh, what's the smell? Bacon? Oh, Bobby, my head hurts. I'm seizing. Pretty sure she would object to that. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. I can't read it from here. Well, I got an achievement for that. Again? No. I actually meant to... Goober. The friendly bum in denial. Let me see if I look at her if I get any indication of what She I'm... looks bored out of her mind. Pretty understandable, to be honest. So, she only said I need to intervene when I did Jacob's hey, Ladder. Oh, hi! Hey. Sure! Definitely. I'm fit. Forgiven. 
You and me were like peas and carrots. I'm just so full of your How am I supposed love to that I think again? I'm about no. to burst. Jenny! Goober. Where did you go? Oh, she I don't feel so good. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. I wish, but she'd just call security on me. I prefer to smoke outdoors. Can I... Hey, doofus. Oh, hi! Hey. Sure. Definitely. I'm feeling. Can I stun him with a stun gun in the midst of this? Oh, Jenny, everything is forgiven. You and me were like peas and carrots. Good idea, but it wouldn't I'm match just his so full symptoms. Of your oh, okay. Love well. that I think I'm about to burst. Jenny, where did you go? Do I have to wait on him? <sighs> thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Okay, so what would fit a hey, stun doofus. gun? Oh, hi. Not the Hey, I don't think the ball would show? work. Sure. Any suggestions? Maybe um this Probably. one because he has a heart oh, attack. Oh, I'm so tired of this. I have so many oh shit, wrong thing. My chest no. Good idea, but it wouldn't Son match his symptoms. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Hey. Hey. Sure. Um, so I did that one, I did that one. How about business? I don't think it's gonna be the bald one. So I'll try this one. I can't believe you guys did all this for me. You know who I have? What's the smell? Bacon? Oh bad in my head. There Nurse! He's seizing! Oh shit! That's like uh really messed up. Man, I feel like a total jackass. You are I'll have a to total make it up jackass. to the poor guy later. Nurse. Admin. Um hmm. Maybe it's written down on this notice board. Employee of the month, Carlita Mendez. <laughs> what a joke. It's that obnoxious nurse. Carlita Mendez. Employee of Rose and Colin. C no. C Mendez. Could the password be C Mendez again? How am I supposed to know the password?
Employee of the Month, Carlita Mendez. <sighs> A calendar from 19... Maybe it's 1991? I mean, that's kind of dumb, but... No. Let me make sure that it... Yeah, okay, so her username is definitely C. Mendez. No thanks. What? There was no... Can I do this floppy disk thing to this? about that? Otor gay door. has undergone successful invasive heart surgery and was transferred to this facility at his own request. The initial prognosis looks good and the patient is likely to make full recovery in six to eight weeks. Fantastic. It's all right, Claude. Understood, sir. So, you managed to find me. I did. Well, let's get this over with then. How do you want your pictures? Shall I get some tubes to fill my face with? Will that suffice for your front page? I'm no journalist. Well, not yet anyway. Ah, she's but a cub. So, you're hoping for your big break. Surely this must be worth an internship at one of the big papers. Do you want me to call Thompson at the Times and get it over with? I still play golf with him every once in a that's while. That's really sad that he thinks that's what this is about. You're assuming a lot, Mr. Wade. Guilty as charged. It's a stance I find remarkably effective for a man with little time and a tendency to be correct. You might want to rethink that attitude. I have a history of surprising people. Is that so? Very well. I'll indulge you for now. Who are you then? I'm Kathy Rain. Joseph was my grandfather. Now I remember. You were at the funeral. I was. You were late. I needed my morning smoke. Besides, it's not like Grandpa was going anywhere. Oh, just look at her, Claude. She's absolutely fearless. That's Joseph's blood running through her veins. She certainly has a smart mouth, sir. <laughs> I must say, you have me intrigued, Kathy. What can this old man help you with? Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? I wish I did, Kathy. You must know I did everything in my power to help. How do you think Mary Elizabeth could afford all that expensive treatment? MRIs, neurologists, say what you will about Joseph. But he was never rich. Strange. Grandma never mentioned that to me. She's just too proud. At first she refused. She was convinced that I had an agenda, that there were strings attached. And were there? Don't be silly. Despite all that had happened, I still loved Joseph dearly. I wanted to help. What happened? People from places like this have a deeply rooted mistrust in the rich, passed on for generations. In her eyes, I had become one of them. 
So that's all you know about the whole affair? Are you implying that there's more to know? I left the diagnosis to the professionals. Mrs. Rain accepted the healthcare, but asked me to stay out of everything else. So I did. I see. What can you tell me about your friendship with Grandpa? Joseph was the best friend I ever had. We grew up together. Married our high school sweethearts together. Went to war together. I can't even begin to count the number of times he's saved my life. I repaid the favor once or twice. But he came up ahead, no doubt. So, when did you two lose touch? I heard that something happened between you and him. What was it? <sighs> the truth is... My parents? Oops. Yes. They ruined oh, everything with their clock. vile, destructive behavior. I couldn't have that around my daughter or my newborn grandson. Joseph was naive. He believed that anyone could be helped, that anyone could be reasoned with, given a chance. He was just... Uh, too good, bless him. He should have been harder on Brian, more strict. I wouldn't mind teaching my old man some manners myself, wherever he is. Yes, of course. You must understand this better than anyone. People like your father simply cannot grasp how far their bad influence spreads. So our family started drifting apart. Eventually, my company grew much too large for this little town, and we moved on. Not long after that, your grandfather ended up in that wheelchair. That marked the end of our friendship obvious reasons. I mean, you didn't have to quit being his friend because he was in a wheelchair. You bought a number of paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art from time to time. Martha, my wife at the time, was enamored with the paintings. I believe she first saw them at the high school which the Myers girl attended. Anyway, after the poor girl killed herself, I bought the paintings speculatively. When a young artist with any talent to speak of commits suicide, it can be a wet dream of certain connoisseurs. Oh. Shortly after procuring the art, I had it valued by an expert who determined that the value was three times the amount I bought it for. Today, I'm sure I would have made my money back tenfold or more if it wasn't for the art theft. What art theft? There was a burglary at the mansion I used to own here in town. It was all over the local news at the time. Well, shit. Eloquently put. <laughs> Do you recognize the call sign, Cocky? Would be strange if I didn't, since I was the one who coined it. It belongs to a fellow named Jimmy Cochran. He was a coward, really. The nickname is somewhat of a bad joke. Perfect, thanks. Why are, I don't even remember why I'm looking for this cocky guy. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? They seem like any other church to me. But then again, I'm not their usual clientele. Weddings, baptisms, and funerals are just about what I can muster. And I always leave early. Tell me about Jimmy Cochran. Is he still alive? In a literal sense. He's been held in a mental institution for years. Let me guess, since 81? Either 82 or 83. I'm fairly certain it was early 83. Do you remember the name of the institution? Something starting with an E. Emerson, Everton, or similar. Ingstrom? Ingstrom Psychiatric Hospital? Yes, that's the one. You know the place, Kathy. So where my mom is? I do. My... Mother is in there. Sharon Evans? I had her committed about a year ago. I see. It must have taken a lot of courage to do that, Kathy. Mothers have a lot of power over us. More than most of us care to admit. I guess so. Do you know why Jimmy ended up in there? Some obsessive compulsive syndrome. He became fixated with circles and started hurting himself, trying to scratch the circles out of his head. Creepy. I wonder what set him off. I think I'll check the place out tomorrow. Too late to head back to the city now. Can you tell me about the art theft? Well, somebody broke in 
stole the paintings and got out. Fairly clumsy job. Lots of broken windows. The strangest thing was, was that I had a Monet, a Rembrandt, and two paintings by Picasso, untouched. But every single painting by an unknown local artist, gone. That can't be a coincidence. Agreed. Somebody wanted those paintings badly. I assume there was an investigation. Yes, Sheriff Truman came by with his deputy a few hours later, but they didn't have much luck. They found a few hairs, which turned out to be from Raffles, the family dog. Some stunning police work right there. Indeed. There was a single witness, though, who said he could make out multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime, but nothing more than that. So, I take it the case was closed? Yes. I honestly didn't care much one way or the other, given the fact that my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff about the matter, if that's okay with you. Certainly. I'll call ahead and instruct him to give you everything you need. So I don't have That'd to sneak be great. behind his back Thanks, this Charles. time? Any time. But I'm curious. What's your interest in the paintings? I've learned that my grandfather went to Sue and asked to see them. Right before he had his... injury. Is that so? Strange. Do you recognize this, Charles? Of course. Your grandfather, me, Jimmy Cochran. Taken shortly before we went to the war. You guys look like you just won the lottery or something. Indeed. We were mere children, with no concept of what we were getting into. We were excited to go to war. I don't think even children what do you see in this are picture, excited Charles? to go to war. Fireflies would be my best guess. They can grow terribly large around Fireflies. these parts. Fireflies. Fireflies. Do you know what this is? A flower. Why don't you consult a botanist instead of bothering me with this nonsense? Do you know what this key opens? You must be truly desperate if you ask <laughs> random people a question like that. Wow. Thanks, Charles. That's all I need for now. You're welcome, Kathy. Come back anytime. A private phone. Wade must get special privileges here. Just some boring landscape paintings. Looks like Wade brought some of his old tunes with him. That guy is huge! I wonder how many cows he eats per day. I'd rather not. He'd crush me like a twig. I was just gonna talk to him. Okay. Fireflies. This thing's are really like the size of basketballs. Rose and cotton.